anniversary. Why so glum? Okay, so we know times change. We're a flawed animal. We're trying to get better as we evolve. But good hot instant Jesus, these Folger ads from the 60s or something else. The setup is always the same. The husband in a marriage doesn't like his wife's coffee, so she quickly buys Folgers in order to please him. Maybe you think that sounds shitty. It is, but just listen to the delicate way these husbands let them know. You make me feel very unwifely, McNaughton. Go barbecue. I still say don't serve your awful coffee with my steaks. Jesus, guy! Also, who the hell serves coffee at a barbecue? Oh, that's one of the nicer ones. Take a listen to some of these others. How can such a pretty wife make such bad coffee? I really should have kept the receipt for her. I heard that. Uh, good! It's our anniversary! Why so glum? Well, it's your coffee. Again? Honey, your coffee just doesn't taste any good. Oh, this guy's a sensitive asshole! Look at him holding her hand! As if to say, it's not your fault your breasts hog all the fat from your brain. Did you ever see Larry looking so happy? Oh, well, honey, happiness is a vacation. <laughs> Away from your coffee. Was there a bad coffee epidemic back then? Polio? We'll get past it. Influenza? We've gotten through worse. Bad coffee locked down until a divorce lawyer is safely escorted to every home! Is the coffee alright? Mm-mm. You mean it's as bad as yesterday? Mm-mm. No improvement at all? Mm-mm. So you're not gonna stop having affairs with our next-door neighbor, Joe? Mm-mm. Clearly coffee's the problem in this relationship, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Ooh, what does Colonel Sanders Pringles Roosevelt have to say about this? Attention, ladies, I've set out a brand new, can't-miss, husband-pleasing coffee. Each one comes with a free mistress, guaranteed to look more attractive than you. It's my gym again. You should have heard him this morning. Mary, your coffee is as undrinkable as ever. Oh, and Jim's usually so nice. Sounds like a goddamn sweetheart. You get the point. This neighborhood doesn't have a coffee problem as much as an entitled dickhole problem. I love this one dude who can barely look her in the face after she has the nerve to say he's kind of acting like a prick. Honey, your coffee's undrinkable. It's pretty harsh. Well, so's your coffee. You know, the girls down at the office make better coffee on their hot plates. Well, see you later. This just in, millions of husbands impaled on their coffee makers. Wonderful anniversary, dear, and thank you for the flowers. You're welcome, darling. But if you could do one thing for me... Go down on you? Try to do something about your coffee. Oh. They got it figured out. This guy rejects his wife's morning kindness, throws it on her garden, and then has the balls to point and yell at her like she's the one being difficult. Oh, this coffee is criminal. Honey, you killed the petunias. Then you admit it. Your coffee really is murder. I can see why this one's called Papa Eddie Solves a Crime. Papa Eddie's trying to figure out who cut off Papa Eddie's finger and shoved it up Papa Eddie's poop hole. My coffee, it's murder. Like I said, though, the answer is always Folger's coffee, because it's mountain grown. It's mountain grown. Mountain grown? Mountain grown for richer flavor. Yeah, do the symbol. No woman smart enough to know what a mountain is. You know, it's a crime. Not to have delicious coffee like this all the time. We will, now that I've discovered the mountains. You mean you got the boob job? <laughs> I'll give you no repercussions for that. No, you won't. These ads are terrible. Like, I know they're the 60s, but even the 60s is looking at this thing. Hey, I don't know that Folgers ass all over there. And here's the thing. We don't have any PSAs to review this year. We couldn't really find any good ones, and we're also afraid YouTube's faulty age restriction might muck things up. But let's be honest, there's an unintentional PSA in here. You just gotta look close. Yuck, honey. Yes, dear? I finally let you out of the storage closet, and this is the coffee you make me? Well, that's a little harsh. So is the coffee. It's murder. I know. I put arsenic in it. Another escape attempt? Well, I would like to know what the sun looks like. I'm sorry, honey, but this just won't do. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to. Would you get that? Get what? That would be the door. Yes? Oh my god! Not you! Salute Wilkins Coffee! Forever!
for my love. <laughs> I think that's a message we all can get behind. It's almost as good as this ad.